Hello world, my name is Stephen Love and welcome to my first episode of my new talk show, Let's Keep It Real. On this show, I'm going to be talking about issues as far as relationships, love advice, and what not to do, what not to do. Just basically taking the stigma and taboo out of everything and giving you the point blank facts. Before I go into all this, I'll give you some, you know, some little details about me so you won't be like, hey, who does this, you know, who is this guy to tell us what to do with our relationships? You know, I don't know him. Basically, like I said, my name is Stephen Love. I'm from a small town called Greenwood, Mississippi. <laughs> don't try to find it on the map. Good luck with that. But, um, you know, I, I grew up there. I got three brothers, came from a good environment, graduated high school in 2003 former military, so definitely shout out to all the veterans and all my battle buddies out there who may watch this. And I hope everyone, civilian, whatever, can learn something from this and it helps them grow in their relationship, helps them move close chapters from their past and everything in between. All right, today I wanted to talk about honesty in your intentions. What I mean by honesty in your intentions is basically the best example, when guys go to girls and be like, you know, hey baby, you know I want to be with you and, you know, I want to, I want you to be my wife and I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I want to have a child and start a family, you know, blah, blah, blah. Ladies, I'm sure you've heard it all before. <laughs> Honestly, I've said it all before, knowing that that wasn't my intentions. Definitely room to grow. But um, guys, when you come at girls like that, you'll be surprised that they don't want to hear that sometimes. If you really tell them your true intentions, you're thinking, you're saying out of your mouth, I want to wife this, wife that, ring this, big house that. But what you're really thinking is, I want some sex. I want some money. I want a trophy girlfriend. <laughs> she got a big butt. She shaped nice. <laughs> All that. The guys, I know I've been there. I'm definitely not saying that if you say you want a wife, that that means you doesn't. There are good guys out there. I had to grow into one, so definitely I'm not bashing the good guys out there. Shout out to all you guys who take care of home. But when you do that, guys, you're 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 a lie. Don't go around saying, and guys love to say this, I keep it real, I'm 100, I'm all that, when you know you just lied to somebody. Somebody who keeps it real in 100 never lies, never sugarcoats. They put out straight facts. You like it, that's what's up. You don't like it, holla at you later. It's that simple. Um, it's something I tell people all the time that you'll be, um, especially I try to tell some some guys I know and I try to let some girls I know notice also that if you just tell the person what you want, you may be surprised to learn that they actually want that in return. Like, for example, you could tell a girl, you know, hey, you know, I don't mean to be rude, but I think you're beautiful. I think you're sexy. Um, no, maybe can we kick it sometimes? You know, we benefit each other. Have a nice day. You may be surprised to learn that she may be like, okay, cool. That's exactly what I was looking for. I didn't want anything long term right now. I just got out of a bad relationship. I'm not ready for a relationship. You know, I just want to have a little fun. You may be surprised to hear that. And I'm not just bashing the guy, so... I'm not out there dogging out the guys. I've done that before. So, you know, I'm not going to be hammering on the guys. But this also goes for ladies as well. This applies to you too, ladies. If you're out there selling dreams to guys, telling them you want to have their baby and you want them to be your hubby and your boo thing and <laughs> the list goes on and on. Don't sell that dream out there, especially to good guys like me who are actually looking for, well, we're looking for, I'm um, engaged, who were looking for a wife, a, a mother, a, a partner in life. Don't go out there selling that dream when you know all you want is a sugar day, somebody to take care of you, somebody you can get a baby by like a baller or baller or someone with a lot of money just so you can draw child support off them. That's not real. That's not what's up. That's not a way to get by in life. Don't do that. And I'm not saying all ladies do that. There are some good ladies out there. 
I've met a few. Sadly enough, I've heard a few. And for that, I apologize. If it's one of you out there who are watching this, you know what I've done. I apologize a thousand times. But just tell a guy, hey, this is what I want. I want somebody to take care of me. I want somebody to pay my bills, get my nails done, get my hair done. You may be surprised. Maybe that's all he wants is a trophy girlfriend. So, hey, you fill out the application, you get the job. But if you get on the application line, he ain't finna hire you. <laughs> that's simple. Well, I'm going to try to keep this first episode short. Don't want to be rambling. Definitely, if you on YouTube, like the video, comment, share, subscribe, you know, check it out. Definitely, um, Facebookers, add me, real name Stephen Love. YouTube also, real name Stephen Love. You can even add me on Twitter at GWoodHigh03. That's G-W-O-O-D-H-I-G-H-03. Um, tweet me, inbox me on Facebook, tell me some issues, some relationships you've been through, going through, plan to go through, um, your love life, tell me anything, and I'll put it on the show, I'll try to address that, hopefully give you some advice that may help save your relationship, or help you decide that mm, maybe this is the best relationship for me. Um, don't worry, I won't put out any personal information, if you want me to, I'll change names, but, and I'll also put out the real name, but just a disclaimer, if I put out that information and someone who knows that information is about them gets mad, don't kill the messenger. I'm just putting it out there. Go talk to the person you got the, um, you have their problem with. Um, but anyway, um, God bless everyone. Have a nice day. And... Let's get this show on the road. Let's make this successful. Bye.